Cool. Now, by when you press Alt and X on your keyboard, your object will be see-through. And if you press F9, well, I'm not going to press F9 because that will stop my recording. But if you render your view, uh, oops, wrong button. I think, yep. There we go. The object is not see-through. It's only see-through in your viewport. Now I'm just going to go to my modify panel. Remember, do not right-click and go to convert it to a poly because that will get rid of this uh, box icon here. So what we want to do is just go to the modify, select the box, go to the modify panel up here, and uh, uh, in here we want to add uh, one uh, width. I think yep. We want to add one width segments here. Cool. Now that we've done this, go to the drop-down menu and press E on your keyboard and go to Edit Poly. Now that you've got this selected, cool. First of all, the thing we need to do is to make the middle, this segment here, make it actually go outwards, if you know what I mean. But, so what we're going to do is select it all. I'm just going to press P on my keyboard to go to perspective view and press Z to zoom in to my selected vert. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, first of all, move my, uh, my box out a bit, so you know, it's not so close to my image plane, and I only move it in one direction, and that will be the Y direction, like as in front and back, forward and backward. Uh, press uh, the vert option here, select your uh, middle vert, and press R on your keyboard, go to the Move tool, um, and then scale it out, just like that. So you scale the middle part out, and now what you can do is, you can select the outside, like the edges, and then scale them down, which will basically make your uh, your uh, sword look sharp. Actually, I think my middle part is just, just a bit too big, I'm just going to scale that, that in. Beautiful. That, that looks nice now. Cool, so what I'm going to do is go to my polygon. Now I've got my polygon selected, my uh, polygon section selected. I'm going to drag and select it. Basically, what I want to select right now is basically the bottom uh, uh, polygons here, which we, we can't really see in the front viewport. So I'm just going to drag and draw, uh, drag and select. And um, now that I've, I know that I've also got that selected, because if we read here, we've got eight polygons selected. That's including the ones that we can't see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard, but this time drag can you see the little minus near the mouse cursor thing? If you do that, actually, before I do that, let me just show you this. If I go to my perspective view, as you can see, I've got these edges selected, and I've also got these bottom edges selected. All I want is these two bottom polygons. So what I want to do is go back to my front viewport, hold Alt, drag, and deselect the middle ones. So basically, as you can see, down here, I've only got the red one selected, so I'm going to press uh, W on my keyboard. I don't really like the scale tool, uh, to be on. What I'm going to do is hit extrude the little box, the setting box next to it. And this is on 0, which is nice. It usually is on 10. If it is on 10, you might need to just take it to 0. Press OK, and now nothing's happened because there's these polygons have been extruded, but they have not been moved. So there's basically two polygons in front of the other polygons. So I'm just going to move them down. As you can see, I've got new polygons now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to extrude again. Okay, pull down, extrude. Okay, pull down, extrude. Okay, pull down, extrude. Okay, pull down. Do this as many times as you like as many times as you think uh, uh, this is necessary. Extrude, OK, pull down. Extrude, OK, pull down. Extrude, OK, pull down. But remember, if you're doing it for game, you might as well keep the polygons down because you basically don't want 100 or 200, 300, or even sometimes 500 polygons for just one. So you don't want that. You, need, you want to keep the polygons as... Uh, as little as possible. So now that we've got just basically a box right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my uh, word option, and then I'm going to go ahead and select these and use my scale tool to basically shape them. Actually, I think I might just need to move my whole box left a bit. There we go. 
and basically just start shaping these so it will it, it, so it looks like the sword It don't really matter if you select the uh, middle word because that's basically in middle and it's not going to be moved anyway. So I'm just going to make sure that that the sword is as big as my box is as big as the sword. Sorry, I can't concentrate a model and talk at the same time. There we go, and boo. So basically, now my sword kind of, the, my box kind of looks like a sword. There we go. So, and if I render this, this is how it kind of looks like. I don't think it looks that bad, actually. Okay, so I'm going to go to back, back, back to my front. I'm just going to extrude this upper part, and again, just select the same way. Like, if you don't like it, you can just always go to the perspective. You have selected one by one, and then extrude, okay, and move them up. And then again... Make sure this out. Now you have two options here because you, we've reached the handle. What you can do is make another box and um, and carry on from there, or what you can do is keep on working with this object. I, I just want to work with this object, but before I can, I just want to save it. File, save as, um, save it to the location that you could find again. Put, uh, I, don't know, I just want to call it one for now. Save. Okay, and I'm gonna select my top uh, the top polygons. They're already selected. What I want to do is this is very important. Uh, I want to extrude and make sure this is on zero and press OK. Now I don't want to move it, but what I do want to do is to scale it. So just want to scale this out like that. 